Welcome to this video on how to replace the pollen filter and you only need two tools to do this job. One, you need a simple flat bladed screwdriver and two, and you won't see this on other videos, you will need a silicone pry tool set. And all they are is, um, they're just simply silicone bars with ends which will not damage the plastic of your dashboard. I've got my new filter here. There are three types of pollen filter you can get. Um, you can get a standard one, you can get one which has activated carbon, and you can get one which has activated carbon and is also antibacterial. So I've gone for that. So the first thing you've got to do is you have to remove this plastic cover here. So what you do is you get your pry bar and you just get it underneath the edge like that. It's as simple as that. Pop it out and as you can see when it comes out, there's a number of these little sort of pressure clips holding it in and you pull it out, there's this little um, spigot just here. Mine's had a bit of a hard life, but it just locates it in there. Now when we take the side off, you can have a look in the side and you can see that when we open the glove box up, there is actually just a little hole and you can see through that little hole, there is a little black um, arm there. That's the shock absorber. Okay, that's the shock absorber. So the reason you need this hole is so you can get a screwdriver through there to lift the arm off. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put my uh, screwdriver through that hole in the side that I just showed you. You can see it there, and it's just gonna go underneath that arm and just pop it off. Uh, underneath the glove box are two, two hinges, if you like, which one on either side, which is simply a pressure fit plastic club. So they can just be popped off, pull up from one side, like that, and pull up from the other side, like that, and it will come out like that. There's your shock absorber there. Some people like to take them out and mess around with them. Personally, I found the simplest way uh, is actually just to leave it exactly as it is, and I'll show you how to, um, how to put it back in a moment. What we've got to do is get in here, start at one end, and get the screwdriver on that and then just give it a little pull and you can see that that, that lug is now disengaged and then go to the next one along same again and you can now pull it out halfway and then go to the third one over there pull that thing out hinges on the bottom comes out nice and easy you can see on the old one uh, it has an airflow direction here so make sure the airflow is going down when you put the new one in and then you might struggle pulling it out so you just want to get a a bit of encouragement, you can just pick or screwdriver or whatever, put it out. And it comes to the airflow is marked here, so it says down there, but it goes in like this. Let's see. And get the new cover on. Just clips into place. Now it's good to put the glove box back in. The first thing you want to be aware of is that these lugs at the top need to go behind these lugs here. And that's the first thing you've got to do. Is Forget all about this for the moment, okay? Other videos, like I say, tell you to focus on that. Forget all about it because you'll be faffing around for ages. Now, now you've got that in place. Now just drop, drop it back until you can get the, the plastic lugs to just locate on top of their, their hinge parts, okay? Now you will find that this, because it's raised up or failed on here, but don't worry about that for now. So it's just roughly in place, okay? Next, what you want to do is get this shock absorber back in place. So I'm just going to get it on the lip of that, that there, just start to ease it out a bit, okay? Start to pull out against that. And as it comes out, you can see it's obviously lengthening quite considerably. And then if we're looking through the side, the side window there, there you go. And you can see it's now resting. Resting on the bar. So I should be able to now push it down. Uh, that's it. So you should be able to see that's where the hinge lid lug needs to go. It's just there. And the other end is just there. So I'll put this end on first. Like that. And this end afterwards. Like that. There's a fair amount of force. Close it up. Open it up. Chuck was always doing its job. Now what you need to do is put that plastic panel back on the side and it's all done. So let's get a panel. Like I said, it's got a low case of lug. Hopefully yours is in better condition than mine. It's always come off now. Um, put that in. And then offer the clips up to the holes there. Push it up really. Clips in nicely. Make sure your rubber seal is there. Mine seems to only go over at the top there. And as you can see, Glove box opens nice and gently, sugar absorber's doing its job, closes up, and you're finished. 